Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. I want to report to you about uh, this recent story. So there was a prisoners of war camp in Donetsk People's Republic and it was uh, shelled. The initial report was that the camp was shelled by Ukraine using the the HIMARS uh, systems that were provided by the West and um, according to the I'm just trying to show you a few photos of the of the place so first of all they, they, the main um, arguments are that um, According to Russia, the argument is that um, Ukraine hit the, the compound to kill the Azov fighters, the Azov fighters that were captured uh, after they surrendered. So the argument is that they were providing testimony about uh, numerous um, war crimes committed by by the Ukrainian side and this was um, the alleged reason for for the attack uh, so far as um, as of the time of this article 53 uh, people died in the incident prisoners of war died and about uh, 75 were injured so it was a um, really horrible attack and the attack itself can be considered of course a war crime because this is a purely civilian um, installation even if uh, prisoners of war are there uh, they are completely unarmed so this is a really horrible despicable act and so far the United States uh, hasn't hasn't given an, an opinion according to to the article they say that they don't have uh, first-hand information about this United Nations also condemned the act there's reports that the Red Cross wants to have access to the site but um, as far as we know uh, this is uh, currently um, Ukraine is also uh, claiming that the installation was uh, attacked by Russian forces and the argument from the Ukrainian side is that um, they want to hide torture that was taking place in the, play in the installation but um, I think this uh, really has no logic behind it because it was easier to hide the torture by executing the prisoners why would you want to um, attack the place uh, with uh, shells or with artillery or whatever was used there are reports that um, there are some uh, pieces uh, of the shells that are typically used by the HIMARS so so far this is what we know and um, we need to wait and see what uh, more information comes but um, as far as uh, previous events uh, are concerned when there are conflicting claims about whether Ukraine or Russia did it uh, usually it never becomes uh, widely recognized and in Western Western media they always blame Russia so this is um, kind of the trend that we see in these events uh, whether it was uh, in Bucha or in the um, Mariupol theater or the Kramatorsk uh, train station they always blame Russia for everything in Western media even if um, there has been investigations that prove that it was actually the Ukrainian side who did it but um, they will never admit to this so this is the story so far um, this is one of the horrors of war I think is uh, is better to find a peaceful solution than continue you know the killing that's my opinion 
Let me know what you think about it in the comment section and as always I want to remind you of the opportunity to help me to support my work as content creator. In the description of each episode I include information about different platforms you can use to support my work with donations if you want to. You can also support me by liking, uh, sharing in social media and subscribing. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for watching.